built Android app with Google Anti-Gravity. So I was able to build a complete full app. So this is the app icon. Let me tap on it for you to see. And it is password generator app. Okay, so we have where we have the password generator option where you can select the length and then the selection and everything. And then we also have where you have your password installed. After generating it, we also have the settings options whereby you can simply come in and then change the theme of the app. And I was able to build this whole complete app using Google Anti-Gravity without writing a single line of code. It also comes with an app icon and also APK that you can install right on your phone. So in this video, I'm going to teach you step by step how you can build even better app with Google Anti-Gravity. So let's get right into it. So you have to install Google Anti-Gravity and after that, simply come and then create a folder for your app, okay? And after creating, it, simply come to the Anti-Gravity and then come and then click on Files and then simply come and then click on open folder okay so over here come and select the location of your folder and then come and then click on it to select it after that come and then click on select folder okay so when you click on it over here it is going to ask you to trust the authors of the folder so simply come and then tap on yes i trust the authors and it is completely going to then give access okay and then allow the folder to be load just like this okay so i created the folder using android studio and i created an empty views activity okay for the folder okay so i have a video on my channel on how to do that okay and i also have the link in the video description after that come and then select the model and then the, the model that i'm going to use is gemini 3 pro high okay come and then select that one so after selecting gemini 3 pro high all that you have to do is simply come and then paste a prompt right here and i have the prompt also in the video description okay simply look down the video description and then just get the prompt okay i have a full video on how to use the prompt after that come and paste it and then click on send and that is it so over here gemini is then going to read your prompt and then gemini is going to create an implementation plan for your app okay so this is the implementation plan you can read it fully from here okay so we have the implementation plan and the implementation plan is exactly how gemini is going to build your android app for you based on the prompt that we just paste in okay it is a complete android functioning app as you saw it from the video from the start of the video okay so after reading the implementation plan all that you have to do is simply come and then come and tell gemini that you have reviewed it and gemini should go ahead and then build your android app for you and come and click on the send okay so when you click on the send gemini is going to build the complete android app for you including all the images and then app icon that you are going to use for your app sometimes gemini is going to ask you to allow it okay by simply coming and click on the accept okay and that is it so anytime that you get it all that you have to do is simply allow it so as you can see gemini has successfully built a full android app for me and that is the work okay so from the top here as you can see this is the walkthrough you can take your time and then go through it and as you can see gemini has successfully built a complete android app for me just like that all that you have to do is simply come and then click on accept all after reading through the walkthrough and then over here as you can see i have my app icon and then i also have my home screen everything has been generated using just one single prompt okay now I'll come here to the file and then come and then save it okay so simply come here to where we have the save workspace and then come and click on it and then over here come and choose the location where you want to save it and over here the file name come and then add something to what is there already so i'm going to add up to it so that it's not conflict with the one i have already and then the type leave it as code workspace okay and then come and click on the save okay so after clicking on it it is going to be saved you can come and then close it okay the next thing that you have to do is simply go to android studio where we are going to build our apk so you have to install android studio and then after that simply open the folder in inside it and then come here to the files and then come and then click on sync project with gradle files okay so that it is going to sync your project for you so as you can see importing the gradle project okay and from here you can see the full 
loading as I have showed you. So when you come here to the build and then you click on the build, you will see that it is syncing and it's going to do everything for you. All that you have to do is simply allow it to do it. And as you can see, we have successfully sync it. So after syncing it successfully, just like this, you can then go ahead and then build your APK. So simply go here to the menu, come and click on it. And then from the top here, simply come here to where we have the build, come and click on the build. Among the build options over here, come here to where we have create our bundles or APK and come and click on generate APKs. So when you click on it, it is going to build it for you. So as you can see from here, we have successfully built our APK and it was successful from the build output. So as you can see, we have successfully built our APK. All that you have to do is simply come here to where we have the notification icon, come and click on it. And there you are going to find the location of your APK right from your system. So simply come and then click on the locate. And when you click on the locate, it's going to open where the APK is. Okay. And then you can simply come and then right click on it. And from here, you can simply come and then click on copy and then send it right onto your Android phone where you can then install it. So come and then click on the notification icon. And over here, you have to come and save it by simply clicking on the menu and come here to save all. After saving it, you can simply come and then click on the close to close it and then come and then click on the exit. Okay, now let's go right onto our phone and then come and install it. So from here where we have this file manager, I'm simply going to tap on it. And from here where we have the all files, I'm going to tap on it. And from here where we have the internal storage, I'm going to tap on it. And I'm simply going to scroll down for you to see that I have the APK right here and the button. I'm going to tap on it and then it is going to ask me to install the package. All that I have to do is simply come and then tap on just once and it is going to ask me to install it. I have already installed it already since you saw it from the beginning of the video. So I'm simply going to tap on install again for it to reinstall. So over here, since it is a new app that we just created, Play Store is going to try to scan it. Simply come in and tap on install without scanning okay and that is it it's going to install it successfully and from here you can simply come and then tap on open to open the app so as i said i have generated a full functioning password generator app and it is working perfectly fine so if you want the prompt that i use and then how to create the folder for your app i am having a full link in the video description down below okay so just check it from the video description click on it it's a full complete video walking you through how to get the prompt and also how to create the folder for your app if you have any questions leave in the comment down below okay like the video and then see you in my next video